explain the interaction. So this is getting to where we need to draw things. So we said there's the rod, there's the fur. Everything, pretty much everything starts out neutral. Neutral meaning not that there aren't any charges, but that there's the same number of positives and negatives. So if I draw in the positives, now in a later drawing, can those positives move? No. No, they have to be in the same exact spot. But this is neutral starting out. So I need to have as many negatives as positives. Another thing that's going to be important, is there any preference to where the negatives are or where the positives are? Are all the negatives up at the top, all the positives at the bottom? In that drawing? No, they're spread out. That's going to be something that's going to be important later on. So we want to make sure if we have something that's truly neutral, that we distribute them equally. Same thing. The fur, there we go. So that is, here is the uncharged rubber rod, here is the uncharged fur. I might even say, put in your drawing that it's neutral and neutral. There's picture one. Picture two now. There's the rod. Right in there, we're going to say rub, because they rub together. And when they rub, well, actually, first thing that we should do is draw in our protons, because we know the protons are going to stay in the same spots. Another thing that I was very careful about doing is making sure there are the same number of protons here as there were there. That's something called conservation of charge. Charge cannot be created. It can't be destroyed. It can only be transferred. And in this case, we are transferring electrons, shown by the arrow drawing over, from the one to the other. So maybe three out of the four electrons on the fur went to the rod. So that now means before we had five, it has three more. So now there's going to be eight. So then afterwards, we would have one, two, three, four, five. charge on the rod. Charge here is negative. Charge on the firm. Positive. We're going to say, I guess, net positive and net negative. That would be complete points, right? 